about 600 English supporters. Now the sign so far under Fabio Capello, not promising, but here's a reputation built on delivering when it really matters. And tonight, as the players emerge onto this Maximir Stadium playing area, it does matter. Croatia's team rarely changes. Both system and components are well established. The pool of players is strong enough to withstand the loss to long-term injury of Arsenal's Eduardo and Portsmouth's Nico Kranchar. One change from the side that eased past Kazakhstan here on Saturday. Their match winner at Wembley, Miladin Petric, starts in place of Ivan Klasnic. Fabio Capello toyed with the idea of a three in midfield, not in defence. In the end, he's plumped for 4-4-1-1. Four, four, one, one. four predictable changes. Brown, Ferdinand, Joe, Cole and Heskey all in from the start. But the headline, the retention of Theo Walcott, which means no starting place for David Beckham. It's a case of hold on tight for a game that will shape the mood for the season. Does the depression grow deeper? Or is this the night when we finally see the fruits of Fabio Capello's expensive labours? So much secrecy surrounding England's team selection these days, but this presumably is plan A at long last. Plan A bearing in mind that the likes of Gerrard and Hargreaves and Carrick are all injured. Olic with the layoff to Petric. Modric now. Three up with him. Niko Kovac. And Modric is back for more. Cerna. Terry's intervention, and Walcott has lost it, and Miladin Petric has it. And Pranic held at the second attempt. Ferdinand. Rooney. Lampard turns it into the path of Theo Walcott, who stops his cross. Heskey was waiting for it. And as it screwed off the outside of Walcott's boot, Heskey's made a challenge on the goalkeeper, which the referee didn't like. Well, it just shows the pace he's got, Walcott. Lovely ball by Frank Lampard. And I don't know what really happened there. He's tried to pull the ball square to Heskey, Walcott, but that's what he's got. This is Luka Modric. <laughs> Opened up a little for Modric. Petric, lucky to get a second bite. You know what that left boot can do. Walcott, intervention by Simunic. Cerna. Rakitic. Good play by Rakitic. The late Cerna lakes that down with ball to him. Switches the play very well, but it's the first time we've really saw Croatia. Come over on halfway now. And I just wonder if England can keep this pace up the tempo. Six Croatians in the England penalty area. And David James has spilt it, and there's no whistle, and it's Choluka. And England escape. That's a great corner. Lovely ball, Cerna whips a terrific cross in a lot of pace for all David James. Big, tall, couldn't hang on to it. Maybe the claim for a slight free kick, slight nudge in the back. The referee waved it on. Choluke to say netting. There's a hint there that Nico Kovac jumped into David James. Rooney. Looking for Walcott. Oh, and now was Heskey being manhandled there? He felt he was. Seems to be an arm around him from Josip Simunic, who was the man that gave away the penalty at Wembley. Well, you see Walcott, terrific ball across the goal. And for me, Heskey, whether he got or not, he wasn't allowed to get near it. Simunic was all over, and Capello, who can see reaction, and he's got a fair point. That was a clear penalty.
Well, you can see the, the game plan is if you're getting good possession on the ball, see if a diagonal at the World Cup. But unfortunately tonight, he hasn't had the impact as he did on the weekend. I know it was against Andorra, the part-timers, but uh, nice ball across, which should have been a penalty, but apart from that, he struggled to get into the game. Ferdinand. Rooney. And it'll come for Walcott, and Joe Cole is free, and Walcott has scored for England! Celebrations from the posh seats, from the suits, and from the cheap seats and the supporters. Maybe a defining moment in a teenager's life. The day that a boy becomes a man. Well, he's, as I said, he's struggling to get in the game. His quality's been poor. To give him credit on this, hard and low. Well, I say the goalkeeper. Fletcher Stop should have saved it. He should have got his hands to it. He should have pushed it away. To give him credit, it's been a thorn. Without as much quality, but it was a right mess at the back for Croatia. And he had one thing on his mind. He did exactly right. He across the goalkeeper. If I made the kick. I should have saved it. But that's one nil. And that is one nil in Croatia. And the sort of goal that England have conceded against Croatia. They have now scored past the one born of defensive errors and poor goalkeeping. The outgoing chief executive and the man that decided he must leave United in this moment of joy. Theo Walcott, the surprise inclusion in the England team, is the man who has fired them in front for Fabio Capello. Here's Walcott again. And this time, I think it might have been going wide anyway, but Petit Kosha got a touch and it's a corner. That was good play again by Walcott. We've got to give Capello a bit of credit here. He was brave enough to play the young boy. He's been very positive with two strikers. Walcott's played very hard in the field. That was another great effort there. Maybe could have picked the Rooney out. But so far, so good for England. So far, so very good. Lampard. Travelled a long way to get to Petikosha. But at no height. But now Croatia try the counter. This is Serna. Olic, Modric will pursue. Ashley Cole makes the challenge. I think it's still dangerous, Croatia. We know they're cold, but they're good on the break. And that's what England's got to be very wary of. That's a foul. The Croatian free kick. Joe Cole lunging in. Hello from the touchline is preaching concentration. It's all right having the lead, it's about keeping it. Serna. Here comes James, who's blocked off, and Petric! It hit Wes Brown with the goalkeeper nowhere. I think he's blocked off, David James. Their free kicks in, it's Kovacs who does it every time, and I'm very surprised the referee can't see that. It's very clear. Well, the casual by Terry. Ashley Cole to Joe Cole. Ashley Cole was bundled over off the ball, and the referee's gone back for a free kick. Let's not forget, though, that England led in Russia in a crucial European Championship qualifier and ended up losing. So the lead at this stage from conclusive. Here's Niko Kovac. Prefer it on his right. He's looking for a free kick, which he's not going to get. And Theo Walcott emerges with it. And releases it just in time. This is Rooney. Heskey was lurking. Theo Walcott has been left on the ground by Joseph Siminich, who's going to be yellow carded here. Robert Kovac, the captain, protesting, but Siminich, the man who, remember, has to be booked three times before he's dismissed from the field of play, gets the first yellow card of this particular night. Well, it most definitely was a yellow card. It took Theo Walcott. That's what Walcott gives England. When England wanted a break there, they give it to Walcott. He covered the ground 30, 40 yards, and that was a clear, clear foul. And he should have booked Kovacs as well on the edge of the box for diving. We can see that as a clear yellow card. 
took him out, not intentionally going for the ball. They've, they've hustled, they've unsettled Croatia, and they don't like it. Niko Kovac. And England would happily take the half-time whistle now, which is precisely what they've got from Lubos Michel. And the players in white turn and head towards the antiquated tunnel end of this Maximir Stadium. And it's Slaven Bilic with the problems and the head-scratching, and England with the lead. Given them by the youngest player on the pitch, Theo Walcott, midway through a first half that England have largely controlled. They will feel they should have had a penalty as well, but hey, be grateful for what they do have, which is a well-taken goal by Walcott and a half-time lead in Zagreb. It's Croatia nil, England one. This is the 50th game that Croatia have played in this Maximir Stadium. And they have lost just two. And both of those were friendlies back in the mists of time. So that perhaps puts into context how big an achievement it would be for England to hang on to this lead or indeed add to it in the next 45 minutes. And England are first to win a free kick. Well, as far as I'll be able to do exactly the same, keep working, keep pressing them, don't let them set on the ball, don't let them pass the ball around easy. Right areas, go and press them. And when we get be alive, everybody look for it, England in a way to Everybody try and get the ball and play quickly. And the dangers for England? Tiredness. I think to play at a high tempo over this 90 minutes is very, very difficult. I think after an hour you'll see a lot of players in a white shirt start tearing. Lampard. He's aimed towards Heskey, who was levered off the ball, but he is deemed to have committed the foul. And the Croatian supporters frustrated. Rooney to Heskey. Nicely for Rooney, and Rooney runs into a statue called Simunic, who's treading a fine line because he was booked in the first half. Well, Wayne Rooney doesn't... You know, he's in. Wayne Rooney's in for a shot there. That is a clear yellow card, so really, he should have two, and he should have been gone. That is a clear foul. Very considerable England coaching staff in terms of both reputation and number. Watching on as Frank Lampard and Gareth Barry stand over this. Bilic cutting a rather hangdog figure right now. It's Lampard! Spilt by the goalkeeper and Robert Kovac is first to react. Good strike by Frank Lampard, hard and low. It's a decent save. The man who was following was real Ferdinand. Lampard again. Terry. Walcott waiting for the ball to come. But he was fouled and the free kick was taken from the wrong place, but on we go. And Heskey almost profiting as Kleti Kosha spilt it. Goal kick in the end. Well, this is a good test for Croatia, isn't it? Crowd's getting very restless, they're moaning at the players giving the ball away. And England have just really dominated the possession. No contact between the goalkeeper and the centre-half. Rooney. Oh, that was a clattering that Joe Cole took from Robert Kovacs. A real clattering. And he led with the arm as well. Joe Cole, as he got back to his feet, you see here, it's a terrific head out, the arm's gone across him. But as he got up, Joe Cole, he walked about three yards and then collapsed. And that's the reason for the concern. So he did take a couple of paces. As so we look again at Frank Lampard's free kick that was partially stopped and the referee 
has issued a card to Robert Kovacs. I don't know, they're just obviously they're disputing the decision. I, I saw blood trickling down the side of Joe Cole's head, uh, but obviously they're not happy with the decision. He did catch him with his elbows. He led with the arm, him. and it's a red card, I'm sure, from the referee, Lupus Michel. He brandished a card to the sky so quickly and put it straight back in his pocket, but I'm sure it was red for this. It is, he's, he's gone to the dugout, Kovacs. Robert Kovacs, he's gone, red card, not happy. And he can't sit in the dugout neither. A sending off offence for the captain. There we are, confirmation of the straight red for Robert Kovacs for leading with his arm and catching Joe Cole. And Fabio Capello, whilst obviously pleased to see Croatia a man down, is still worried about Joe Cole's state of fitness. The worrying fact being that he took a couple of paces before collapsing. But Lubas Michel, the man in red, has brandished red at Robert Kovac and Croatia are a goal down and a man down now. Breaks for Barry. Wes Brown. Heskey. Rooney. Ashley Cole making the extra man on his outside. Lampard. Heskey. And Rooney opts to pass. Theo Walcott! What a night for the teenager! And what a night it's turning into for Fabio Capello in England. What a night, what a goal. Fantastic football. Heskey to Rooney on the left-hand side. Wayne Rooney played a lovely little given goal. Ends up back at Heskey, back to Rooney. He rolls at the World Cup. Very similar finish to the goal in the first half. Did he take it ever so well? Rooney, terrific play. First touch was good, second touch was excellent. Across the keeper again, bottom corner, fantastic goal by England. It was Chorluka that played him onside. Didn't step up. And a goal not dissimilar to his first. And England sitting pretty. Genus to Ashley Cole. And Genus will keep it in. And Croatia stopped for a moment there. And here's Wayne Rooney to make it three! <laughs> it just gets better for England. On a night that promised so little, they have delivered so much. Full credit, Ashley Cole, great persistence down this left-hand side on Serna. Janus picks it up and he does ever so well, drives to the byline, outside the right foot pullback, Wayne Rooney from the penalty spot, a lovely opening right foot up, side foot, past the goalkeeper, didn't need to blast it, just placed it, rolled it past the keeper, and England have deserved it, they've been outstanding. Jermaine Genus. Lampard. Back from Ashley Cole, Frank Lampard for four! No, a free kick has been given. It's beautifully taken by Lampard, but Croatia escaped the ignominy of conceding a fourth goal on home soil. That was just fantastic football again. The way they're spraying the ball around, the movement. They're all confident now, they're all enjoying it. And it was just a shame there was a slight infringement which cost Frank Lampard what would have been a marvellous goal. It have been as good as any of England's goals. Well, we can't see what's happening, he's done ever so well. Lovely little one too with Cole. And it was Heskey. Did he really push Simulich down? Walcott. All around us in the main stand. Vast open grandstand here at the Maximir. There's a crush by the exits. People try and leave. But here comes Cerner. Trying to restore a little bit of pride, maybe now. Mandzukic bets his first international goal. And Croatia at least are on the score sheet. Well, was there a possibility of a free kick with a high foot by Serna or John Terry, the referee? Hesitated, 
thought he was going to blow, he didn't. Give Cerna credit, he kept running. Lovely way to pass. The substitute, Magdovic, come on. First field touch, and it's a wonderful finish. Just places it by. Lovely way to ball by Cerna. Good first touch, just in at the body of David James. Sloppy play by England. You can see John Terry clutching his head in the background. And he's still contending to the referee that Cerner's foot was too high and it should have been a free kick. Rooney. Lovely ball, it's Walcott. It couldn't be, could it? It is, you know, it's a hat trick for Theo Walcott. Just sensational. And the referee has had to go and sort out an argument amongst a group of Croatian and English players in the centre circle. But the goal stands. Theo Walcott has scored a hat-trick as a teenager for England, his first international goals. And England are in the process of recording one of their most stunning victories for many a long year. Well, what you didn't see, what we're not talking about, John, is Wayne Rooney's fantastic control to bring that ball down. Yeah, there it is, what a touch to move it inside. The weight it passed, the perfect run by Walcott. Maybe we thought he was going to have a touch too many. Kept his head, didn't blast it, placed it into the net. Wayne Rooney's contribution was absolutely first class. What a night for Theo Walcott. Three goals. <laughs> Night on which Theo Walcott will always look back because it's the night and the occasion and the match when he's responded to the entreaties of a manager who at last has trusted him and he has emerged onto the world stage in a way that we all knew was possible one day but that day has come much much sooner than we thought England just seconds away from a stellar result as Lubus Mitchell looks at one watch, then another, and confirms that England have become the first team ever to win a competitive international in Croatia. They have stormed the Citadel, the first part of the revenge mission, successfully, nay, spectacularly accomplished, leaving Croatia as depressed and distraught as England supporters have been so often in the recent past. Theo Walcott, the youngest player out there, the hero, with his first international goals and a hat-trick to boot. A giant step on the road to South Africa, 2010. I wonder, did you ever really doubt Fabio Capello? Thought not. What a scoreline. And what a night for England. Echoes of Munich. And Fabio Capello has got England up and running in the best possible style. Croatia 1, England 4 is a scoreline to savour.